How's it going everyone? It's Juan here from Switchwatch. I hope you're all well and you enjoyed the Nintendo Direct. I certainly did. I mean, you know, there were some good things shown. One of those games is a free-to-play game called Fortnite. Now, I'm no expert at this game. I'll admit that to you. I haven't played it before, but my good friend Shags2004 is certainly an expert. The good thing is, is that he plays on Xbox One, which is lucky for me because he can show me around. Heard some news tonight that PS4 is not offering cross-play with us Nintendo Switch players. So that's a little bit sad for, for them and us. But there you go. Luckily, Shags2004 can play. Um, so at the moment, I'm on the lobby screen and I think he's going to pop up now. There he is. Fantastic. So the cross-play is definitely working there. So just to introduce uh, Shags2004, he plays on Xbox One. How long have you been playing this one, buddy? Uh, eight months. Eight months, so you must be a pretty good expert at this game right now. Yeah, I know it pretty inside and out. Pretty inside and out. So, what do you say to the Nintendo Switch guys and girls who watch this channel who say, you know, this is a pay to win game? Is it that type of game? It, you can pay to get skins, which will then like increase your reputation. So, and of course, your reputation will earn you like better matches and like uh, matchmaking okay so if i go over to here just to show you guys i mean there's a store it's like 7.99 for a thousand v bucks so you know what can juan purchase with some v bucks well if you go over to the item shop yeah there's certain things that are available at the moment as well as certain emotes and gliders okay so it's all kind of stuff to make you look cool to your friends and stuff like that yeah so what I wanted to do then um, is just sort of go in now. I haven't played this much, so you're going to show me around, let me know uh, what it's all about. We're going to play sort of a, a 1v1 battle, so it's kind of a battle royale kill all type thing. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you can also play 50v50, is that right? Currently, but that's always in and out. Sometimes it's a 20v20v20. 20 v 20 v and sometimes there's lots of different gamers right brilliant okay guys so let's get this one started we're going to press the ready button um and this is more to sort of show you how smooth the game runs in terms of you know when it's connected up in handheld mode to the internet and how good that is so let's check it out and see uh what's going on shags you okay there mate you got a uh, call coming in i think I think Shags is uh, disappearing on me. Right, let's get Shags back. Before we cut out. Alright, so my good friend Shags there has cut out, but hopefully we'll be able to get him back in now. I'm, this is some sort of lobby room, and we're waiting for the battle bus to launch. And when that does, we'll be able to go in and uh, you can sort of jump off the bus and go anywhere on the map. Now, usually, a Shags will put somewhere on the map for me to glide to because he knows all these places that we can go um, which you know are not that dangerous and stuff like that so there he goes he's going down there so I'm just going to follow him and uh, check out some stuff to loot and get some guns and whatnot. but so far you know I've played a couple of games and I'm actually really enjoying it to be fair it's quite an addictive game i mean you know because we cover the nintendo switch and all the games that come to switch you kind of take your eye off the ball off other systems because we're a nintendo switch dedicated channel so i didn't really pay much attention to fortnite you know there was a lot of people talking about it and uh you know but we were busy playing other games but now that it's here um, I thought I'd give it a download. Know that uh, 
Shags is someone who uh, plays this game quite frequently. So I thought we'd give it a try, test out the, you know, test out the uh, crossplay and stuff like that. So I guess what I'm trying to do now is is find some loot. So if you push down on the sticks, you can run on this game, and you can jump by pressing B. Uh, but at the moment, you start off in sort of these quiet areas, and you can also, I mean, I haven't quite gotten used to this but you can sort of just build walls anywhere you sort of are um, and you can get materials to so you can knock down trees and stuff like that I don't think someone's shooting me there's shags <laughs> right so he's just giving me an assault rifle all right so I can equip that and also he was telling me about uh, you know you get some shield potions so this little blue bar here is to fill up with a shield potion it just makes me a little bit harder to kill if I'm taking shots and stuff like that but what I'm really impressed so far by is um, how smooth the game's running actually um, I know you can sort of play this now on mobile phones and stuff like that but it actually feels really quite good on the switch and graphically so far it's quite nice actually it's uh, looks pretty decent now I'm obviously not the best at this and and playing cross play you got people like who are, you know like shags who I'm playing with who's played this for a long time <laughs> and uh, they're, they're pretty good at it so here we go he's coming back in now he can uh, talk you through it a little better than I can Shags, are you back? Yeah. What happened there, buddy? Boom died, sorry. <laughs> no worries, no worries. All right, so um, I was just explaining to the guys that are watching, guys and girls, that at the moment you sort of take us to a quiet place on the map, trying to loot some stuff. I mean, to be honest with you, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. I'm looking for some chests, right? So we're coming to this big building over here. Yeah, cool. So just gonna, what's that? Is that a good gun there? No, that's a uh, revolver. I picked up, but these are grey. So grey is bad, isn't it? I mean, I need blue and purples and stuff like that. The, the rarity goes grey, green, blue, purple, and then gold, legendary. All right, cool. So if I get a legendary whip, I assume it's gonna do more damage than yeah. just. All right. So what am I doing? The vending machine. If you have the certain amount of materials, you can buy the weapon that is available. Okay, so I've got no materials, so that ain't gonna work. So can we play football here, or? Yeah. <laughs> so this is one of the two places on the map where you can play football. <laughs> All right, let's go. Um, oh, that was score, a bad pass, dude. If you score. Yeah. Oh, we're really. I'm really bad at this. There we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> And the score is 1-0, as you can see. Oh, yeah. All right, so where's the action? So we can yeah. o we can open up the map here. Um, you were telling me, Shags, about storms and stuff like that. What's all that about? Yeah. As you enter the game, after the first minute of looting, yeah. there will be a storm come over. So that the aim of the game is to kill everyone. And as the game progresses, yeah. the... Almost shrink, as you can see, it popping up now. Okay, so, so storm shrinking. So we need and, to uh, stay out of that storm because otherwise we're gonna perish, yeah. Yeah. So the longer you're in the storm, the more you lose health. And as cool. you can see, you've only got a hundred health. Cool. So once okay. you lose that hundred, you're dead. All right. Sounds good. All right. So we need to uh, stay alive as long as possible. So, in terms of, so there's 50 people that start. So I can see on the counter there's 41 left. So sort of nine people are dead already yeah no actually 59 it starts at 100 oh does it okay all right so it starts at 100 so so we've lost 60 people already um and would yeah. you would you get points for do you sort of level up in this game how does it work um if you buy something called the battle pass yeah then well, um allow you to get skins and certain dances yeah well as if you don't have battle pass um you can get something called um 
where, where you just level up. Okay. And once you level up, you get certain XP, and as you get, get XP, um, well, you just get higher levels. Right, fair uh, enough. And if you're if you're higher level, does it mean that you're stronger in this game, or does it not really make a difference? Not necessarily. It doesn't really make a difference. Okay. That's, that's quite cool then because you know in a lot of sort of pay to win games you can buy items and guns that make you sort of stronger and stuff like that but that's not necessarily the case here is that right that is the case because um it with the um it starts everyone afresh so like it, everyone has an even chance of winning okay so that's pretty cool i mean you know it, you can pay money if you want to, but you can just play completely for free yeah. and you don't have to pay any money to sort of make you stronger or anything like that. So that's something I like because one thing I hate is is pay to win sort of games and lots of microtransactions and stuff like that. Go to guy here. All right, so I need to, uh, I need to go and shoot this guy. I can't see this guy. So this is this is ah oh. oh, I was already injured from falling off that cliff two of them yeah. took me out so as you can see there guys um, I'm not great at this game yet <laughs> I have to be honest but if we return to the lobby how easy is it to sort of start another game it's fairly simple just press ready up button okay and we'll go again yeah and is yeah. is there different maps or are they always always the same or same map but if we try 50 feet 50 so if you press um oh, okay we'll just go jewels again okay so are you doing a 50 v 50 for us now no we'll just do jewels again okay So it's not too bad, I mean the matchmaking takes a little while, it's just sort of waiting for the server, but it doesn't seem to take a really long time to start a new game. Yeah. I suppose what is frustrating though is the fact that as soon as you die it's game over, there's no sort of respawning or is there different modes where you can get that type of thing? Well, once you're in, if you're solos then once you lose that health you're dead, but if, once you're in juries and squads, yeah. Then if you die and your friend managed to um, um, kill the other people, yeah. then there's to revive, which um, well, well, once you die, you've got um, another 100 health. Okay. That will then decrease. Um, and so if your friends can't get you before then, then you will eventually die and you'll have to go back to the lobby. Fantastic. Well, thanks for explaining that to, to everyone watching. That's really appreciated. So, if you jump and go to this mountain here, this is usually sort of a decent spot, l quite a good loot. So it's quite a good uh, looting zone, yeah. So literally, there's going to be a hundred people on this one map, and uh, it, it surprises me that some of these places are quite quiet. Yeah, usually there's named locations. They're usually the busiest places. Okay. So could you literally go into a really busy place and then just have, you know, you just end up having a massive firefight, basically? Yeah. One of the most popular places is a place called Tilted Towers. Okay. That was added in the most recent patch. Yeah. Or patch before that. Why, um, why is it so popular? Yeah, Um. it's just lots of big buildings. As you saw, we went past it in the last um, game. Yeah. Yeah, lots of loot, and it's just a place where people like to go. Okay, cool. So I need to sort of find myself some loot here. There's not going to be anything in this fridge freezer, is it? Except for some food. <laughs> 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 I was just bash it, bashing up a fridge freezer, but there was nothing in it. So, all right. So I mean, it's quite relaxing. I like this bit where you're just sort of foraging materials and and stuff like that. And um, so can you pass me, okay, so you can pass each other weapons as well. So 
Um, I wonder how we do that on the switch. All right, so not really sure how you do it. Gotta open up. All oh, right, okay. So I could drop that weapon for you right there. Okay, so fine. You pr you press that on the top button on the D-pad if you want to do that. Okay, and then you could just pass each other weapons. Okay, fine. Sounds good. And over here, I believe there are some people. That are just gonna shoot me straight away because I'm completely useless at the game. There we go. I can't even aim straight. Oh, did I get. Oh, he's down and someone just shot me. I <laughs> I'm sure I got the other guy because he was on the floor. You got a kill. Oh, man. I'm just going to watch you play, mate, because you're the expert. <laughs> so if we're in a party of two, you can't re you can't revive me, no? Yeah, you can, uh, in a party of two. Um, but as you saw, you went down and he had to kill you again. And uh. then uh, eventually, um, for you to die. But if he, if he hadn't have killed you before I killed him, then you would I would have had the opportunity to revive you. All right, fair enough. Um, so yeah, but now. So, um, so can you just one, explain one. to me because what what's what's the aim of? Obviously, there's a hundred people that start out on the map. Is it just last man standing, basically? Yeah. <laughs> or last woman. Yeah. All right. So, whereabouts are you going now? I'm just going to sort of roam this valley area where there tends to be a lot of people. Okay. So do you get sort of points for, I suppose you get points for kills, you sort of level your character up for kills and stuff like that? Yep, XP. Okay, cool. I'm looking forward to seeing you get some kills, showing, uh, showing the people at home how it's done. Yeah. Don't let us down, you, Shags. Don't let us down. <laughs> as you can see, I'm jumping here. Go on, take him down. Yeah. As you can see, I'm jumping here. It's to avoid sniper shots like that. Okay. Because sniper shots do do the most damage, typically for long range weapons. Fair enough. This guy just. There he is. Okay, so you use the materials to to block them from shooting you. It's clever. Come on, Shags, take him down. Oh, yes, good man. Love it. Literally, if I move the uh, ju the the analog sticks, I could pretend I'm playing. And it would look like I'm quite good <laughs> on the video. I see Shags is uh, concentrating now. Yeah. So there's only 43 of you left. Alright guys, so I think we'll leave it there because our man Shags has got to go now. Hopefully you guys at home could see some footage of this game and what it's like and if you've had sort of some thoughts about downloading it then I can definitely say that it's really fun and if you can play online with a couple of friends then definitely even better. I'll get some of the Switch Watch guys to play some games with us and... Uh, they can be as noob as me maybe i'll be a little bit more expert by then and i can teach them a thing or two we'll see thanks for watching guys really appreciate it if you like this sort of thing then please subscribe to our channel for more gameplay videos this is something a little bit different i want to thank shags for joining us tonight on this just to show you guys a little bit of fortnite shags say goodbye to the folks at home i'll see you again on the next one buddy thank you see you later take care
All right, so we'll still watch Shag's there until his parents tell him that he's got to go to bed because he is um, he's a youngster. He's very addicted to Fortnite, as you can see. <laughs> I actually enjoy watching him. It's, uh, it's quite a fun thing. And down he goes, and, and that's the end of that. Hope you've enjoyed this sort of gameplay video of Fortnite in handheld mode. Gives you an idea of what the game looks like and stuff like that. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys on the next one. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts. My name is Juan Romero, and I'll see you again on the next one. Take care.